<laughs> we got a traffic jam here. Lee Bailey, everybody's coming through. Reggie Calloway in the house. Reggie, these days, the young kids, they want that instant gratification. The digital revolution has given us some tools, but it's also made it a very crowded marketplace. All these great writers, this, these, the producers, they got tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of hours into their craft. What advice do you have to those coming up, whether it be an entrepreneur or talent, to really establish their own lane? One of the biggest advice is to say that you don't want to be an overnight sensation, an overnight burnout. So if you're going to hang around for some time, then you have to learn your craft. You know, anybody can be lucky and do it once. And you can do, even do it for, for a little while, but if you want to make it a, a real career, then keep growing, keep learning, and, and study the art of songwriting, learn about songwriting, because the great songs have already stood the test of time. You know, they got songs that are 100 years old that are here because of the melody, because of the lyric. You know, so if you want your music to last, then study. You know, keep doing what you're doing, but, but mix in some quality, keep learning. Because I think today, I'm starting to notice that the songwriting is, is really uh, being highlighted more. It's always been there, but I'm starting to hear things on the radio that I like, you know, and I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, that's really cool. You know? I'm like, let's do this. So guys like myself, we're anxious to co-write with the younger writers. We're anxious to share. We're anxious to learn from them. You know, my son's 21. I learn from him every day about how to mix in the hip-hop with the R&B and how to cross all these genres together. So it's, it's a perfect timing. So, I mean, soul's coming back. You know, it's, it's the basis of everything great. And, of course, you know, we're those that came up through the 70s and 80s were really anxious for real singers, real songs, real players. You know, what what is your encouragement for those to really get out there and, again, come from the heart? I always tell a lot of people, like, you know, if you want to get better, then pick th three or four or five people that you want to really study. And you begin to emulate them, whether it's, you know, somebody from the older school, from the from the Nat King Cole era, to someone from the Teddy Pendergast era, to someone from, from the even uh, Johnny Gill era. You know, just pick some, some artists that you want to go after. And then that will lead you to studying more and more and more. And then from all those different things, your style will grow and you'll be a, a, a fully much more rounded artist, you know. So keep your, your present day craft, but study the, the, the legends that came before you. So take from the past, but put your own twist on it and take some chances. Yeah, that's right. That's right. In your own voice. Because it's great talent out there. I mean, it's being born every day. I mean, every generation gets a little bit better in, in, in that sense because of everything they're exposed to and because just the gene pool gets more serious and more serious. But if you throw it all away and, and don't study it, you know, then, then, then that's a waste, you know, and we don't want to waste nothing. Well, have a great evening. Always good to see you, Reggie. Thank you, Jay. Enjoy your weekend. I'm going to have a ball, man.